this day began late last night when Rebecca started having cramps and they weren't just like regular cramps they kept getting worse and worse and finally she kind of looked it up online like some possibilities what this might be and made the decision that she should uh, go into the hospital have it checked out come on I'm actually taking bear it's early morning it's like 5 45 I'm taking bear to his mama there they are bear you're good mama that's why I put the calf out to pilot because the calf will just take the milk that we were gonna take and it won't break up any kind of cycle too much and she'll stay in milk maybe even get a little break so that'll be good Hospital. Let's go see her. Hey. <laughs> was a great hug, wasn't it? I mean, I didn't get a great shot of it, but trust me, it was a great and meaningful hug. And looking back on the day, I think that was a redemption hug. You see, the night before, when she went in, we thought it was cramps. So, you know, we're at one o'clock in the morning, we're t she's hurting, we're tired. It's kind of like, ah, are we really doing this for cramps? And it's kind of like, okay, I'll see you off. I don't remember if I hugged and kissed her. I said goodbye, I saw her off. I hope to God I hugged and kissed her, but I don't remember it. How you doing? I'm okay, I'm scared. Are you hungry? Yes. Are you thirsty? Yes. I did bring you water, are you out of water? I know, but I'm not allowed to drink it. Oh. Not until after the So, surgery. what's the verdict? They took some blood, took some urine. He did an exam on my stomach. Um, they got all my blood work back and it looked good. And so then he thought I should get a CT scan. And at first I was hesitant because I was starting to think that maybe I just pulled a muscle. And I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to get a CT scan if I just pulled a muscle. But I talked to the nurse and I decided to get the CT scan. I'm glad I did. It showed that I have a stone in my appendix and it's inflamed and infected and it's gonna do nothing but get worse. So I have to have it out today. It's the not stone <laughs> or the appendix? The whole, the whole. I was confused at first. I was thinking it was the stone they could remove. They're gonna have to remove your appendix. They're taking the whole thing. They're taking the whole appendix. I did not take the news well. I cried. And I told the doctor I wanted to keep everything in my body. Mm -hmm. But it, I, there might be an alternative. I don't know what it is. I don't want, I could, it can get serious if it does burst. So I, I don't feel like I really have time. I guess I should have taken care of my appendix before, <laughs> before this. But you didn't have any signs of appendix problems? No. I mean, I never wanted have to have anything. this, but. You were doing everything right. I was trying, so. What causes it? I have no idea. I'm not sure. All I know is that it hurts. How big is the appendix? I don't think it's very big. It's kind of small. They said it was small. They just kind of took, like, do three little marks. What is it for? Don't you need it? <laughs> I don't Do you know what it's for? I don't know what it's for, but I have read somewhere that it is needed, but, but I, I have to. 
I also don't want to die. No, no. <laughs> so I have to go with what care I'm getting and I just have to believe that we can heal whatever this is and I can get better. later down the road and not having it. Mm. Mm. Did you look up? No, I can't. I can't. People get this done all the time, I guess. So. They do, but they also probably have problems. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I don't want to invite any more problems into what I already have going on, but I don't know how to fix it. Well, back according to Mr. Google Pants. Dr. Google Pants. <laughs> you, Mr. There is an alternative to Surgery. Surgery, and that's and that nice. if, if, if your appendicitis is not complicated. I know, I don't know if I might. Or too far along, it's antibiotics, which isn't a great alternative. And that's three days of IV antibiotics. Bring it. And a week of pill antibiotics. I'd rather have that than have, than have um, a surgery. Or you're going to have to ask surgery. the, you're going to have to request that of the surgeon. Surgeon's supposed to come, what, at 7? Yeah, could you go down? It's 7.02. Well, I don't know if he's supposed to go. They're saying like 10 o'clock, Becca, maybe. I know, it's like 8 million. It's like 3 dollars. Wait. And that's a maybe. It's 7.10. It's 7.10. It's 3 hours, honey. I'm gonna call Jonah to get some things straightened out with the chores. Hello. Hey. Is Jonah around? Uh, they, the pigs got into the chicken, so they ran out to get them. <laughs> okay. They had to. They're fixing the fence. All right, have them call me. I got two two things I need him to do. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Jonah called me back. The what got out? The pigs were really in the chicken. Okay. It, it started pooping because yeah, it was too tight around it. Did you get it undone? Yeah. Good job. Okay, so what do you need to do? <laughs> Just remember to feed the pigs first before the chickens get feed. Was okay. the Was the fence left off or was it on? Yeah, I left it off and it started the whole thing. Uh, it was off. Okay. Well, thank you for okay, fixing bye. it. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The only other thing I need you to do is get that soap that we fed to the cows yesterday and have grandma go out there with you and give them a cup of that soap and the cow's water and fill the trough up again. They've about drank all their water. Where is the um, soap? Remember, it's down in Hollywood. Okay. And tell grandma to get you a cup, like a measuring cup. Okay. Oh, thanks, Bye. buddy. Bye. Hey, hey, mom wants to FaceTime. <laughs> He's all busy. I can't is all business. I want to try to get... You guys want to FaceTime him? Yeah. Okay. They're wanting to know if you're having a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, they're out of touch. They are. They're just a little mm -hmm. bit out of touch. Grandma, you look tired. You're funny, Dad. Grandma's been up all night. Hey, Gideon! Oh, there he is. Oh, He's high? Oh, I he doesn't know what to do. I huh? miss you. Hey, guys. Hold on. Oh, there. okay. Tell me you were going. Well, because I went I in the middle of the going. night. What happened? Who's I, I had bad. Yeah, they don't even know what happened. We just saw the doctor. He gave you two options. Three days of antibiotics in the hospital. See if that works. And then maybe surgery. Or surgery with a slight chance that a less, much lesser chance. What, 10%? Type of 40% chance I could have an abscess. That she could have an abscess and have to have further surgery. Or, so. and then there's also I a 5% chance that I won't be able to have the Laret Law for scrapping and I'd have to have open. Yeah, that. I don't think you want to spend three days in the hospital though, huh? No, I don't. Just still might have a surgery, yeah. 
And then it was finally time for her to go to surgery. And they rolled her down the hall and we went into a pre-op. I was able to go because nobody else was there. Normally they wouldn't let that happen. So I was fortunate. We were there, they were strapping her up. It was kind of more business. You know, she was afraid. I think there were some tears. Uh, I think that's probably the hardest part to surgery is those moments before because once you are asleep, the next thing you know, you're awake. This little nurse came in right at one of the last moments and she said, did you guys get your hugs and kisses? And I'm like, yeah, back off from the business for a little bit and let's get some hugs and kisses. I wanted to hug and kiss her for reminding us. So I got my hugs and kisses and I wish I would have captured it. I wish now no. and I gave her a hug and a kiss and that hug and kiss must have had meaning because for the first time I was emotional and I was about to cry and I thought I got to get this together my mom's in the uh, waiting room and I don't want to I don't want her to see me crying and so I kind of slowed down a little bit <laughs> Got, got myself together, pulled it together, and walked out there. It is 1.20. Rebecca went back okay. into surgery about 30-ish minutes ago. It's going to take about an hour. She was very nervous, understandably. Upset. She hadn't slept all night, so crying. It wasn't long after this that we got word from the doctor that she was okay and everything went well. 134, the doctor just came out. She did just fine. She will be another hour until she can come back to her room, recover and come back to her room. So we're all happy about that. And then it was about a half an hour or an hour and then she came back. But she was delirious. Look who's back. How'd you do? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what happened when you woke up? There was cows with me. What were they doing? Eating grass. Hmm? Well, that's good. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be a new day. Are you hurting right now? No, it doesn't hurt now, but they gave me lots of drugs. Lots of drugs and ice chips. Do you want to rest or do you want to keep talking? I want ice chips. She's supposed to be bringing them. She will. And I like the ice on my belly. Okay. They have ice on your stomach? Yeah. But it, it, it couldn't have been an hour before she was just like back to her normal, cohesive, super smart self. Hey honey, glad you're doing better. Glad you're awake. Too. You're not grazing with the cows anymore. <laughs> you're coherent. Uh, I feel good actually. I good. Feel, I feel really good. I'm gonna leave you now. Uh -huh. Amy's gonna come visit. And I'll go home and take care of the kids. I'll send you some food. All right, thanks, babe. Okay. You get better. I'll miss you. All Good right. Face. Love you. Love you too. On the way to see Rebecca, I passed this, I, I noticed this graveyard. And I thought, you know that graveyard looks a little overgrown. Those people are probably forgotten. And that's it. And now I'm thinking, well, I'm glad Rebecca's not going into the, the similar situation in a few days. I know what I'm saying? And at the hospital, I'm reading this book called The Kite Runner. And he mentioned something about a graveyard with no names on the stones. People long forgotten. Maybe they didn't even go through the trouble to name the stones in the first place. short and we're gonna be forgotten we're gonna be gone and forgotten and these hugs these opportunities for hugs 
It's priceless. We can go out and make efforts and make money and get things and grow things and do a lot of great things for an effort. We pay for it with an effort and we reap the rewards and that's a wonderful thing. But a hug and a kiss, that's something we take for granted. It's like the air we breathe, it's like the water we drink, the trees we pass by, the hugs and the kisses we take for granted because it's free but it's priceless. And if it was gone, and I've had no more opportunity, I would be willing to pay all I've got, plus debt, trillions of dollars if I had to get one last kiss. It would be slow, it would be thoughtful, it would be of the mindset of I'm taking notes and it would be captured. It would be documented. So you bet when I got home I hugged those chitlers. My apartment man. You took over, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Hey. Okay. Give me a hug, Mary. <laughs> and you bet I could not wait till she came home to get my redemption hug. Oh, we are much rested. Everybody slept about 10 hours last night. It's amazing how that will wear everybody out. The beautiful one slept at the hospital. We slept here. Good news though. Good news. She's coming home this morning. They're like checking her out right now. Like can grandma go and get her, bring her here type of thing. You really ran the place, buddy. Yep. Good job. Good job. Well, you fill her absence just after one day for sure. Everybody's already backed up on laundry. That's about 10 o'clock. Should have, should have left about four minutes ago. We gotta go to the dentist. Rebecca too. Everybody's got an appointment all at the same time. Obviously Rebecca's gonna have to reschedule. But we were gonna barely miss each other. Uh, Rebecca's mom went to pick her up. We were gonna have to leave. But Rebecca called and said, just wait, just wait. She called the dentist. We're waiting. She wants to see the kids. Shh, I have not told the kids. So we're just gonna kinda sit and wait. Hey look, look who's here. Mama? Well, I bet that's Mama with Grandma. No, don't, don't, don't anybody just bump out. Let's see if it is. It's is it? Oh, she is in the front. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> you can line it up. I know you gotta be gentle. You gotta be gentle. Oh. I love you. Cause this is where all my stuff is. We'll sh I'll show it to you later. It's all right. She wanted to see y'all before we left. I know. I did. Hey, buddy. I missed you. I missed you. Why don't you give her a kiss? I mean it. I love you. How about another? Give mom a kiss and then we'll go. You'd be good at the dentist. I love you guys. I will. No, I, 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 I got my bike. What? I love you too. It's good to be on. Good. I'm in You want to hug her too? Have you hugged her too? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. All right, I gotta get inside. Get we gotta, here, I'll we gotta go to the dentist. I'll carry you. Good to have you back.